Hello, hello. Welcome in, folks. What's up? What's up, people? Well, camera's a little bit off. Let's uh, move that a little. There we go. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Welcome. It has been uh, a little while. We had an off day yesterday. Come on, camera, work with me. We were pretty busy yesterday, so I wasn't able to get live, but we're here now. Welcome. Um, we have some good plans for today. Last time we played 322 on the EPTU, we got to do some salvage stuff, inventory stuff, and combat. And honestly, the most interesting part to me was all the inventory stuff, so I figured what we could do today is jump in for a solid couple hours, and together we will tackle every weird question we have about how inventory works now. Can you put components in it? Can you strip stuff out and move them into your boxes? Can you combine commodities? All that jazz. So starting off in Lorville today, um, we are going to head out and basically just grab a ship, grab our tools, tracked beam, some guns, some medical stuff, anything to keep us alive. And we're going to run different missions from bounty hunting to mercenary to uh, even cargo hauling, just to kind of see how all of the different functionality can work. And we'll grab a couple bags ourselves, so we got to get up to the station. But first, let's get our goods. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you for coming. Another Space Tomato Gaming live stream, I guess you could call it. Happy Tuesday. Digital Dad, good to see you. Reese, Rhino, welcome. Ships and giggles in the chat. Ships and giggles, everybody. Leave your hashtag ships and giggles. Uh, Nahore, good to see ya. I'm seeing a lot of Toes Gang in the chat. Welcome, guys. Maverick, of course, I see you on Twitch. Hello. If you're not first, you're last. Zoster, hi, how you doing? Bert, punji with the Toes. This is testing. You're incredibly curious. So am I. I look forward to... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I need to get, like, armor stuff. Actually, this is my home base. So we could just grab stuff. Hey, Ken. Good to see you. Sub-Zero, Astrum... Cotton. Seeing if storage boxes are accessible by other players. Seeing how easy to spawn the 8 SU box. Oh, SCU, 8 SU box is very easy. We did that last last time, actually. But remind me as we're going if you want to see something specific. Daftage, a good to see you. Forged, Vastin. Welcome, Vastin. Shogi. Frenchie. Remember to give the stream a like. Thanks, man. Looking out. Oh, let me change up the music real quick before we stay in this playlist. We don't need this playlist. All right. Inventory stuff. Rhino, thanks for the membership, man. Appreciate you. Eight months? You know what that means. Eight month membership, bro. That means no more flying for you. No more roller coasters. No more airplanes. Gotta keep it easy. Alright, popping some armor on real quick. Something happened to my legs. There they are.
And I don't even know what kind of guns I have. Ah, the LH-86 is the one I want. But I'll also jump for a P8. I don't know why I have a P8 just by default. That's cool. Good morning, Roar Vidicus. If it wasn't for Space Tater, you would have one less SC creator to watch. That would be terrible. Hey, Jeremy, if it wasn't for you, I'd have one less person to chill and talk about some good space stuff with. And that would be terrible. Thanks for being here. Silas. Hello, Honk. How's it going? Was there a stream yesterday? No, no. Uh, we did not have a stream yesterday. Usually, if there's going to be no stream or if there's any messaging about streams, that'll be... Um, on the Discord in server announcements. Alright, I really need a backpack here. Thank you. Tractor beam. Medical tool. I will take a multi-tool just in case. Med pens. Um, I doubt I have any ammo. Yeah. You know what? I don't even think we need to go to the store. I think we're good. Got the tractor beam, got my weapons. We can pick up as we go. Let's go grab the rest of our goods. Can we store ship models and modules in those sub containers? We will find that out today. How am I finding 322 P EPTU? Pretty good. I haven't gotten to see much of it today. Last time I played was on Friday. Or Saturday, actually. Yo, Frenchie just gifted out a, a membership to Mr. Plastic Fantastic. Welcome to the, uh, still haven't come up with a good rhyme for that. Welcome to the membership blendership or something. Remoyne. Hello, 07's body. If you die with pledge armor, you want to know if you can get in the hangar or something? Not yet. They're working on that, though. We'll get that feature with freight elevators. Where we'll be able to respawn the stuff that we've actually pledged for. What's up, Scott? Oh yeah, the membership. That's right. Thanks for jumping on the membership. Yeah, there it is. Oh, let me on the train, lady. What is this, New York? I gotta gatekeep a train. Your peace tea is gone? Peace tea. Oof. I cannot do English breakfast. It's very, uh... I don't know how to describe it. I think English breakfast makes me think of... Carpet? I don't know. 15. 15 months, Cotton? Why can't I see that last little bit? Yeah, look at that. 15 months, dude. Beanie and bacony? Is that how you would describe English breakfast? Oh, right. Okay, I see. Beanie and ba English breakfast, yeah. Beanie, bacony, and bloody. The three Bs of English breakfast. You're on your phone right now. So your chat messages are cut due to your dumb thumbs. YouTube does this really dumb thing where if you type out a whole sentence and then end it in an emote, um, it cancels your whole sentence and just says the emote, which obviously can be a little bit weird. You like tag somebody and then just smile at them instead of saying something. You want to know the connection between carpet and English breakfast? I think it's just the taste. Got to put a space after the emote. That's too much work. You're asking me to type in extra things. That's hmm. Let me think. Um, I probably want. I mean, we'll just take the spirit. As long as I don't think there's any reason I can't take the spirit for this. Have I tried carpet? Yeah, the carpet I tried tastes a lot like the tea. Maybe it was good dark carpet. Maybe it's bad tea. I don't know. Or it throws the emote at the front of the message, making it look weird. 
<laughs> YouTube is a little weird. Especially the, um, uh, the chat experience on YouTube. It's just not great. What's up, Luxon? How you doing? Oh, sevens. I do really like the C1. Let me in. When it comes to like an average daily driver that I'm going to take out to uh, just take out to kind of do stuff throughout the game, it's uh, it was generally the MSR before. So now that I have a slightly smaller, more accessible version of that, I would prefer that. What are the new cargo updates? That's what we're about to find out. Lots of stuff with boxes. Weird. <laughs> Strange days. Strange days, citizens. Echo, how you doing? How's the uh, cotton candy milk been treating you? Best features of the C1 is the hologram projection around the door. <laughs> it's kind of like the flood floodlight from the Corsair. It's part of their improvements at making ships over the last couple of years as they started to get really good at putting in some nice custom parts in each ship. I don't know when that started, but it was very noticeable by the time the cutter came out and had that sliding door thing. Walk on carpets in our home. I mean, generally, yes. That's why we, we usually, that's, that's why me calling something carpet is a way of saying it's not super, not super great tasting to me. I would say Earl Grey is better, yeah, but on, ultimately I am, uh, I'm more of a chai good kind of, kind of person. Honestly, I don't know what exactly it is. It's whatever the Turkish brand, the default Turkish tea is. Um... I want to say I grew up on that tea, but it really it was only because of my my tea adolescence, not my actual adolescence. I I only discovered it when I was like, what was it twenty six? When did I start drinking Turkish tea, man? Um, this would have been it would have been twenty seventeen. No, it would have been twenty eighteen. Would have been when I started drinking it. I don't even know how old I was then, but. Uh, yeah, whatever the Turkish tea is, that's that's my jam. I also like a good like herbal tea though. You know, those are those are nice. It's weird that I'm talking about flavors of tea in the first place though. Old school me would be just distraught. Irish breakfast tea, that's a thing. Yeah, there it is. Turkish tea. I don't even know... Did Turkish tea. <laughs> I was 25. Yes. Five years ago. See, I just had to do the math. People believe they found a huge load of gasping weevil eggs. People? Who, who are people? <laughs> Isn't that whiskey? Earl Grey and Turkish black tea will forever reign supreme. Yeah, Mrs. T is more of a Earl Grey tea. Or Turkish tea, of course. You usually get that, that loose, leaf, loose leaf Lipton and mix it a little bit with the, uh, with the Turkish stuff. Nice. Turkish tea is strong. Yeah. Yeah. It can be. You can you can get it nice and light though. That's that's one of my favorite parts. Is like everybody gets it differently. Landing gear up. Landing gear up. I guess that's every single tea and coffee you could ever think of though. Everyone drinks them differently. It's the beauty of drinking stuff. It's all different. If, I'm, if I ever start a drink brand, that's gonna be my motto. Enjoy the beauties of drinking drinks by drinking our drink. 
Irish tea is strong tea with milk and sugar. And... Bailey's? Or whiskey? Turkish coffee is very strong. See, now that's something I can't get with. We end up talking about food a lot on this on this channel. I can't get with the Turkish coffee, but I'm not a coffee person by default, so that makes sense. For people who like coffee, Turkish coffee seems to be like... I don't know. Literally scratching the itches on your brain like physically scratching the way that people react is like one of the greatest pleasures <laughs> so i w i do wish i loved coffee so that i could experience that but i'm i'm happy to let others take that over space tomato tea made with zero tomatoes Ooh, god i love this ship space tomatoes tea is good because it has so many vitamins in it still though Zero percent real tomatoes. <laughs> Look at the size of that hanger. Why do they do this to us? Oh! <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> Why, see? <laughs> Look at this. This ship's like bigger than the landing pad. <laughs> That's really funny. Perfect fit. You're all about strong coffee with a smidge of maple syrup added. Is this the Canadian in you? Twinnings have an Irish breakfast tea. Twinnings. Twinting. Twinnings. Yeah, right, like, it, it, I kind of assumed Frenchie was putting honey in his coffee, or uh, maple syrup in his coffee. Holston Coop with this, Jesus. Holston Coop's on the membership now for three years, 36 months. There's like a, the OG crew. Every time you guys check in and we see one of you, 35, 38 months. Appreciate you, Holston. Hope you're doing well, man. Yeah, the C one's the C one's got a pretty wide butt. Like the hanger, the <laughs> there's no way I'd be able to do this in first person. Look at this. Look at how close we're basically over the sides of the landing pad. Nicely central though. I love the ship. I wonder how long it's going to take for the uh, C1 to have another ship take its my favorite spot. Isn't tomato soup just tomato tea in a bowl? I mean, it depends on how murderous you are. Most of us don't like to actually sacrifice tomatoes for that kind of stuff. YouTube member since day one. I remember when we started streaming on YouTube. That was that was interesting. We were just talking about how long we'd known Holston Coop. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about, like, the, the OG group back in the day when we were... I mean, before GII even started. It was just the stream and, and chilling. Bed pens. Get these sent to my good old trusty backpack. And then I believe I have a medical gun, so we're good. Just make sure I have them equipped. Oh, you know what I need? Ammo. Let's go grab some ammo. And then we'll get our first mission. Actually, we'll grab our, our ammo. We'll grab our uh, cargo boxes. And then we'll grab our first mission. Sucks when the C1 ramp hangs over the pit on some hangers. That just makes it fun. Making your making your game a little bit more exciting that way. Okay, so when you're here, uh, you can go to utility and all of the boxes are here. Yeah, one SCU, two SCU, four SCU, and eight SCU. What I do kind of wish is that this, instead of going to, wait a second, 
Yeah, see. If I wish this... Oh, did I just take up too much space in my ship? I did. Hmm. So what I could have done was... Bought a 1SU and put it inside the 2SU. Let's see if I can do that. So if I choose the 2SU as the storage location... Hold on. I wonder how much SU I have left. If it's not letting me do an 8... Yeah. Put an item in the box, then the box in a box, and see if you can sell the item in the first box. Oh, that's fun. All right, so if I get a 4 SCU, nope, still insufficient face, space. Oh, 2 SCU. Insufficient space. But what if... Oh, I'm an idiot. I was choosing all options. Or I was choosing the 2 SCU box. Okay. Can't do the 8. Can't do the four. Can I do the two? No. Okay. What if I choose the four SU crate as my destination? No. That's weird. I would have thought you could put a two SU in a four SU box. <laughs> Tech issues are part of the OG group. Tech issues, tech issues are part of everyone's OG group. Ubiquitous. Wish you could drag the containers back into the virtual local space station inventory in the hangar. Yeah, I'm guessing they don't even want to spend time on that since we're going to get these uh, whatchamadumids real quick. All right, well, we got a 1, a 2, and a 4 SU box. That's weird we can't get an 8. I feel like I had enough space for that, but let's go back down to the ship and check it out. Maybe I need to move some stuff around. Or I don't, because it's in the inventory. That's what I was going to say is one of my complaints. I wish this stuff would get loaded straight onto the cargo deck on your ship. I'm sure there are some logistical reasons why we can't do that. Like, they probably want to give us the ability to choose exactly where these boxes get loaded. But, um... It'd still be nice if they didn't load into the inventory and you had to, like, magically pull them out and place them on the grid. I'll show you what I mean in a little bit here. You can drag them back into station storage. I am looking into the ships and guns stuff. I haven't gotten to actually test these yet, so we're going to get out there and get started here soon. Just need to make sure I have stuff to defend myself. And who doesn't want to test out the LH-86 now? Now that it sprays like a motherfucker. And I'll probably get a... Oh, I already have a P8, so let's just get some ammo for that. You're unreasonably excited for personal hangers. You really want anything that is more personal and permanent. Can we all just take a minute and cherish cherish the fact that we're about to finally have a home in Star Citizen after all this time of of it's not even a home home. It's not like you're spawning in the same bed, but like we've never felt any sort of belonging anywhere. And finally, finally, at long last. We might actually be getting our own hangar soon. I'm also very excited for that. I don't think that's unreasonable at all. That's a uh, one of those big, big ones we've been waiting for. One of the things that's been on the roadmap a few different years. That you're kind of like, don't do not do that again to us, please. Uh, Twitch West, Wetsu, thank you for the sub, or for the bits. Appreciate your support. Also, I see, um, whoa. Jamsian and Sherflon. And ran you over. Thank you all for the subs. I'm sorry I missed those before. Appreciate you guys' support. Pushing up, pushing us up through that goal. You want a place to put a fish tank? Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Just throw it on your, uh, your hangar floor. Or your cargo bay floor in your ship. I'm sure it won't mind. Alright, we're going to hangar 2. They adding housing. Housing is going to happen soon, as in I think probably in the next year and a half. I'm guessing persistent personal habs, like apartments that we can own and live in, 2025 seems more. I don't think that's like a next year sort of thing. But it is going to build off of building interiors, which um, is going to be a pretty monumental feature for the game. Monumental feature possibly for gaming. We'll have to see how they do it and how well it goes. But 
the building interiors feature is a pretty could be a pretty interesting application at this kind of scale. So here are our boxes. I'm going to go ahead and offload them onto the ship here. And then I'm going to go back up and grab an 8SU box. So all you have to do is take it out of your ship inventory. And chuck it down. And it just shows up right behind you. So you just make sure you have some space behind you. And it'll work out. Excuse me. Next year? Ah, I don't think so. That would be cool if next year. I'd be happy about that, but... Okay, so we got a 1 SU, 2 SU, four, four, and a 4 SU, I believe. Can I take out my tractor beam here? I thought I was allowed to take out my tractor beam. Is that just in cities? Oh. Okay. Can take out my medical tool. You killed yourself doing this several times. Hangers better have cots in them. I better be able to have my own cot, to be honest. All right, so they're not letting me take any of this. Let's then, um, let's go get that 8 SU crate. Yeah, because I want to be able to put boxes in boxes. We'll get that 8 SU crate and then we will get gone. Have I been to any of the new settlements? Um, no, I have not. Heard they run like the ones in Pyro? What do you mean, like performance wise? Checking out the new inventory, Colt. Hope they give the C1 the C1 red medic uh, two medical beds. Man, if the C1 had medical beds in it, it'd be very I think it'd be over overpowered. Tractor beam. Space for two two beds. Nice design, good cargo space, a medical bed. That thing could just be self-sufficient forever. If you have per personal hab, say in the major landing zone, you will then have a separate hangar at the spaceport. Doubt you will have access to your hangar from your hab. Yeah, exactly. I do wonder if they're going to keep um, landing zone inventories pooled or if they will separate the hab and hangar, but... I, yeah, you'll have your own hab, right? So you'll be able to pay for your own hab or apartment. You'll also be able to pay for your own hangar. And then you could also have your own hangers at other places too. But generally, the way I understand it, the way that we play right now when we're just kind of flying around and we go to a space station and we want to stay at that space station, you're going to have to pay for that time that you're staying at the space station. So that's part of um, a deterrent and also kind of a big problem for a lot of people that are not interested in that kind of thing because what it means is that if you have a lot of ships if you have a, if you've if you've bought a lot of spaceships for star citizen and you ever do physicalize them in the game then you'll have to start paying for them to just kind of sit there so if you have a lot of ships you might end up having a large amount of passive um, outflow of cash just to pay for those ships to sit in a hangar. We'll have to see how they balance that though. Maybe they'll maybe they'll relent. Should be able to sleep anywhere with a bedroll. Agreed. Man, Dr. Chan just always needed here. I think they were saying the elevator is the physicalization point for the landing zone stuff. I do, but I wonder if you think that our HAB stuff will be able to be spawned through the uh, freight elevator in the hangar. New outposts have a massive frame memory leak frame rate issue. Sounds about right for new locations. You first have to deliver the ships, yeah. So it's not like you just... The game goes live and you're smacked with like a 20,000 uh, 20, a day charge for all of your ships. It'd be like, okay, you didn't actually spawn any of those ships in, you're good. But who knows, who, like if you spawn your ship in for the first time in Star Citizen, is it then always physical forever? Your, your 
that's that's it. That's the first line. Now you're paying insurance fees. You're paying hangar fees and stuff. Or can you somehow despawn it so you're not doing all that? That's the question. I'm in the EPTU right now. Bunk bed is enough for you. I like, I like a bunk bed in my spaceship. A lot of a lot of um, rocking around. Hello, boxes. I'm not going to spawn the 8 SCU box just yet because I don't think there's a good amount of space here to do it. I mean, I, maybe I could do it in this corner, but it's dangerous. We like dangerous. Let's give it a go. Nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm going to use a ship tractor beam. Try putting your tractor beam in your hand from your inventory. You might fix it not working in hangar. That could work, yeah. What would happen to the ship if you despawn it? Would you have to pay some sort of long-term storage fee for all ships you don't have active? Yeah, that's what I mean. The hangar storage fees is when you're despawning it, you're just storing it in a hangar. Again. This is the way that they have presented the ideas, but this all can change in practice. Doesn't mean it has to be like this. All right, let's see if we can move this stuff around here. What about travel costs and time between hab and hangar? Well, oh, that's awkward. <laughs> can I open the exterior from here? Nope. All right, that was not, not, uh, I was not interested in that sound. Open exterior here. No, you're gonna make me sit down for it. You're gonna make me work for it, C1. What is the hotkey for open all doors? Hope they don't go hardcore with their in-real-life time frames. Gonna make it impossible to take much-needed long breaks from SC. What do you mean? <laughs> Use the tractor beam to grab the box and hit a button. Vastin. Why such, why such complex game loops? Alright, there we go. Just making sure that these are actually... It's funny how quickly we're going to get used to doing stuff like this when we've waited so long for, like, tractor beams and physical boxes and stuff. It all just immediately is going to just feel natural. Wow. We were begging for this stuff, man. It's all about the complex gameplay. They did talk about animations and hitting buttons, right? What's the difference between my fist and a box? Okay. Let's start with a simple mercenary mission. We're just going to go get some loot and see what we can do with it. This one will be down at a Hurston security outpost. on the planet itself. All right, so I haven't even moved. I'm just going straight up and you see that? This ship, I guess it's from wherever I landed, but still, even when you spawn this ship, it can't leave the hangar without touching 
the sides. That doesn't seem right. That's not how these ships are supposed to work. Rent, taxes, hangar fees. If you take six months off and come back and lost everything, that's going to suck. <laughs> that would actually be kind of funny. But yeah, that would suck. That's a good point, actually. I wonder what they'll do when, like, maybe you can put your account on hibernation or something. With those boxes on the cargo grid, haven't you reduced the space for regular cargo, looted cargo? Yes. The thing is, you can't really store looted cargo on your cargo grid without a box. So that's what's changing here, is that when you used to loot stuff, you'd have to carry everything and move it into your ship inventory. Now when you loot stuff, you'll be able to put it on a box, put that box on your ship, and then sell the box. Oh, the Cyclone or Mule carries a 1SCU now? Actually, that's really, um, you know what? Do I have a mule? I don't think I have one. No, I don't. I was going to say, I could go grab one of those and see if that works. You think CR talked about not penalizing players for not playing? Well, that's impossible, right? Players have to be penalized for not playing. Otherwise, everybody just not play. I might check out the new derelict settlements, yeah. Like, y you... Your, your reputation degrades over time, doesn't it? Isn't that already getting penalized for not playing? Had a base when you went to bed this morning a pile of ashes yeah i don't think anybody who can't guarantee protecting their base when they're not there should be going outside of security space i'm guessing that's why they did that rep rep layers being pushed for evocati nice hangar fees could be charged on in-game time well that would make it very easy for people to get around having their ships, right? Then you're basically not really paying for having that ship, so it's not a deterrent to stocking up on a ton of ships all the time. Which, you know, maybe something they don't want to do, but... So far, they've talked about wanting to do that. Dang, it's hard to fly a ship backwards. Almost had it. Almost had that landing, but it's... It's disorienting. There we go. Let's slide right in here. Even ship modules fit in boxes? I don't know. That's what we're going to find out today. Then you have the high taxes to worry about. There's a lot of give and take, man. Take a break from the game and you lose your base either way. I'm guessing there's going to be some ways to not do that. Since that would probably make the game not very enjoyable and they want to avoid that. Alright, so we're going to grab... Oh man. I'm going to grab the 1 SCU this time. 2 SCU is a little bit much. Let's take this with us. Carries 100 kilograms. See, I'm hoping that they're going to get it updated shortly so that the weight that you're carrying corresponds to the things in the box and not just the box itself. Because right now, if you put something in the box, it doesn't change from 100 kilograms. Would like to rent your hangar rather than pay by ship. Rent a single capital hangar and put all ships in it. Ooh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? I'm, I might be wrong, you know, maybe they will get rid of the whole uh, paying for your ships to be stored in hangars thing. I think they're, I think it may just be the, the case that they have painted themselves into a corner 
where too many people have too many ships that they want to use and not be penalized for and it would cause too much uh, outrage if they started doing stuff like that. We can already kind of see that start, sort of stuff popping up with engineering gameplay. Unfortunately, I think they've just not done a good enough job of tra of communicating to people what this game's supposed to be over time, and now they have a really difficult journey ahead of them, convincing folks. Knots, thank you for the sub, mate. Used to have fear of speed bumps. You're slowly getting over it. <laughs> I see you. I see you. That's pretty good. All right. We got a box. We got a pit. Hey. We got a pistol. Very interested in, in this one with the new fire. Hey, whoa! Ow! Did my box just attack me? What the heck? I wonder if I can use this box to hurt them. What do you think? Should I try it? Huh? <laughs> he got wrecked, dude. I'm pretty sure I can't hurt them that bad with my gun. <laughs> He's been disoriented. Take him out. They've all, they've all been caught by surprise by the box. Ooh. This thing is enjoyable to shoot now. Can't take my pistol. Is that everybody? Folks, come on. That was easy. Aren't those our personal hangers? Uh, you don't know which ones you're talking about. Oh, the ones he's talking about? I still think we'll probably only be able to store one ship in there, but maybe we'll be able to store multiple. What do I think they will do about the hangar we already have by buying ships? Those will be one of our hangars that we own. So when you own it, you probably won't be paying um, as high cost as you would if you were renting it, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe if you got one with a package that you own, then you never have to pay for it, and that's the perk of getting that with your package. All right, so now the job for us is to figure out how easy it is to loot with our one SU box. And spoiler alert, it's pretty easy, but I want to try a couple different things this time compared to what we did last. Yeah, there's going to have to be a, a box and tractor beam challenge. Like, can what is with this freaking ghost box? Can you take out all of the pirates with a cargo box? That'd be such a cool challenge. First thing I want to try. Put this right here. Access the loot box. And see if I can just move the stuff in here. No, because I can't see this thing's inventory. Wow, they literally just have a couple of legs in this box. So yeah, you won't be able to drag from one loot box into the other that's too bad but um it is very easy to check this out if i come over here and loot this duel i just do this a bunch does he have two fs9s <laughs> a little greedy aren't you buddy you can just drag all this stuff out onto the ground and hope that it doesn't kill you. And then you come right on over to your box. And you can drag all this stuff in. And just like that, you can basically pull everything out of a bunker. In record time now. And then we just uh, grab the box. Gosh, this is very annoying. Grab the box and keep it coming with us. So right now, it's just general looting.
Can you maybe pull it over with the box on the screen? Um, no, because you have to be able to get inside this box. I just have to drop this stuff on the floor. Hopefully not break everything. I'm breaking everything. And then move over this. This is like... This is a uh, midpoint for this kind of system. We are currently in the transition phase of being able to just physically move everything to wherever you need to. This is just like a halfway solution. What happens if you drag the legs armor from the red box over the one SCU? Just nothing? Yeah, it would probably be nothing. If I grab these and just drag them over there? Nah, doesn't... Doesn't do anything. You have to be able to access the inventory screen of it. Could you drag the undersuit to the ground and drop everything? Yes. So that still works. If you wanted to... Put... Just take that. And drop it. Okay. Oh no, that does not work. Huh. Interesting. Wait, can I... Okay, can you look at the box and then drag it off their body? No, that would be great. That'd be really nice if you could just select their own body straight from here. No, so you do have to take everything off. I wonder if I can grab at least the armor off of his body. Nope. Nothing gets activated. <laughs> Drag the whole body into the box. <laughs> Just... <sighs> Get in there. <laughs> All right, get out of here. Go. Generally, I think the best bet is probably to gather all of the heavy armor and weapons in one place around this box and hope that it doesn't break the game and then loot it all at once. The new looting UI is going to be great for this. Everything is going to get... It is getting much faster to do with all these little changes. Put him in the box and use your bush, your boots to push real hard. I don't need any of that. This place is not great for loot. So let's just grab these guns. And I guess we can grab this Ninetales armor too. What's with all these folks carrying two guns with them? Why are they so strapped? This is a dangerous dance of boxes I'm doing. Lots of chances for death here. It's actually more intense than the firefight was. Star Citizen. The adrenaline-filled looting experience. Did I get all the gun... Yes, I did. Two is one. One is none. Can you still strip and loot them with double-clicking the undersuit? Um, well, I couldn't... I, it wasn't letting me get rid of their undersuit for some reason. So I do not know, actually. I could try it again here when I'm getting these guns. Just gather them up. Yeah, this is probably going to be a a very specific best practice for looting now. Where like one person gathers and the other person ingests. Because you'll be able to clear a bunker pretty quickly doing this. And with the, with the, uh, like the retrieve consignment missions, you could probably get yourself, what, 50 plus rifles by the end of that mission and sell them all. That's like... 100,000 credits on top of what you did for the mission just because you collected the guns. Drag undersuit to yourself, then the box. So you're saying, I get undressed and then wear all of their stuff? Come 
Come on. It really struggles at selecting these guns sometimes. Seventy six percent. We're getting there. Uh, to be honest, it probably that just doesn't sound fun. <laughs> Wait, what's in his armor? You got more guns in your armor, buddy? Just ammo. It does the one SCU box. I think this is probably too much for one SCU. Volume wise, we've picked up too many guns. Alright, anything else in here? Did I kill anybody over here? No? Okay. We'll get these last couple bits and pretty much good. Come on. Eighty six. So that's basically a full box. Eighty six percent. Notch Jr. Oh, sorry. Uh, Space Marine, thank you for the sub. Hello, friend. Good to see you. Five months of support. I appreciate you. Getting that sub raffle started on Twitch. Folks can get in on exclamation point join, I believe, if the command worked. It looks like stream elements once again did not trigger stream. Nightbot. Can't wait for the bigger bunkers. I mean, this is... Oh, Jesus. This is such a basic experience. And these bunkers are nothing compared to what they have planned now. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Now, exclamation point join will get you in on that on Twitch. You can now take a 2 SCU. You can take on a 8 SCU if you want. Which is probably why the 1 SCU should not be carrying all this much. And you can see it still says it's 99 kilograms, so it's not taking into account what's inside of it yet. Dang it. <laughs> was it daytime when we got here? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, the distribution centers. Those new UGFs. They focused on derelict points of interest because of... Oh, because of Pyro, but I really wish they would go back and make the bunkers bigger. It's been two years since they announced bigger bunkers. They actually... Um, the derelicts weren't for Pyro. The derelicts are are a Stanton thing. Pyro gets the colonialism outposts, which I really do wish were a Stanton thing. But the derelict settlements were kind of a onboarding thing, I think, for the Montreal studio. And they decided to keep it as a point of interest. But I do agree about the, um, the new underground facilities. I would really like to see those. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take this, put it here, and I... Mm. Okay, can I put a box inside a box just by dragging it? No. So can you not reverse that? Like, is there no way for me to get this 1SU box into a 2SU box? Oh, I need to get out, huh? Yes, you can smash enemies with boxes. We just did it. Very nice. If you drag it into the ship inventory. I don't think I could. Could I? Did I have access to that? Let me try after I get out of here. Uh, we are going to check if we can put components and weapons in there. That's our next test. Oops. Why did I do that? I just turned my engines off. 
we launched and then I said, ah, nah, power off. We don't need to go anywhere. And away we go. Bye bye, bunker. Yeah, I tried dragging from the floor into the inventory window. That didn't work. You can nest boxes, but you you have to spawn the box inside the other box. What I don't know is if I can get the box back in after it's been physicalized. That's what I'm trying right now. So we'll get out into the uh, the space the space places. So that we don't, you know, fall back to the planet's surface. And we'll check this. And then we're going to take on a bounty mission. We're going to go and take out a ship and decom decompose it. De deconstruct it. And try to steal some of their weapons and components. See if those will fit into our own ship. Or our own boxes. Okay, I didn't want to do all that. Thanks, though. Oh, yeah, the cloud thing is a good point. I'll have to check that out. Okay. So, we're a little ways away from the planet now. Let's bring ourselves to a stop here. And not die while doing it. Weapons off. Engines off. And let's go back and see what we've got. Yeah, well, they, they did say they were going to add in those performance improvements for clouds and light, but maybe that's a later PTU kind of thing. Okay, so if I access this, I can't simply grab the other box. It doesn't let me do that. It also doesn't show me that I have oh wait 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 that's what you guys are saying okay cool so if I do this and then I come over to this one now why doesn't it show me external Now I can drag into this. Cool. So now we've stored our one SCU in this four SCU. Now we're going to go find a ship, blow it up, and see if we can get their stuff. Space Mar Wow, you guys on Twitch are really <laughs> coming through with the subs today. Thank you. Space Marine and Hill Hilly Billy. Hilly Billy 420. Nice. Thanks for the subs, folks. Oh, I think I got Space Marine already. But what's better than a double thanks? All right, we're going to take an easy, simple bounty here in the Hurston area. Last seen at a cave. Okay, just flying around in a cave. Cool. Let's find him. I hope I I hope that why did I share that? I hope I can actually fight in a C1. I don't think I've ever actually gotten into a, a fight in this ship yet. Whoops. What's up, Joseph? I'm glad you like the content space. Thanks for coming through to a, a live stream. Been clipping things in a C1, no sweat. Yeah, but it's me. <laughs> yes, you can nest all of the boxes. It is a bit fragile. All right. Well, let's see how it goes for me. 
I'm, I'm admittedly not the best dogfighter in the world. Hmm, how am I gonna get there? Is this a nighttime bounty? Star Citizen, why do you do this to us? Why do you hate us so? Why don't you just give us more straightforward space dogfights? Oh yeah, that location is... Wait, wait, okay, stop. Second live stream for you. Dope! Hope you've been liking them. Anything else you'd like to see on the, on the live? Certain types of gameplay? Discussion? Any topics you guys want to go over? Think they should have just made the backpacks have bigger carry space? What are you supposed to do when you have small crawl spaces and other confined gameplay? Just leave the box behind? Well, we will have backpacks with bigger carrying spaces. These, what I'm doing with the boxes right now isn't exactly what they're meant for. I'm just testing that sort of functionality. At the end of the day, these are bo cargo boxes meant for cargo hauling and all of the gameplay around trade and stuff. There's just no easy way to get to this location. No sign of night vision. No. No, they're not making it easy. Love some theory crafting. More lore. Lore is a fun topic. Where to get the big multi-tool? The tractor beam tool is at uh, the cargo center. But it's not a multi-tool, so you can't do anything else with it. It's just a tractor beam. Not sure if your comment came through on YouTube, but please test to see if S two SU boxes will block incoming bullets. They will. I tested it last time, actually. Next time I'm at the... Um, next time we're doing a mercenary mission, I'll take one in with me. Really have been enjoying the updates and analysis of SC. What? Why did it just take me here? God, this stupid quantum travel system, man. <laughs> Why did it do that? I was all lined up and stuff. I... Alright. What I'm trying to do is just quantum cancel so I can get to this cave because, you know, you can't just jump like you want to and... They put these locations really far away. Didn't talk about the bigger bun bunker dungeons. Do you think they abandoned the bigger bunkers? No. The bigger bunkers, I think, are part of those points of interest, the distribution centers. I think they're the same thing, you'll just have different types of missions there. Okay. Community expectations and feedback. Liquid gas cargo. That's exclusive to the Starfarer. The, the cargo stuff that they talked about at CitizenCon, uh, they're fleshing out that profession a lot more, and it does seem like one of the things that they're focusing on is different types of cargo. Liquid, gas, some, there will be cargo that we have to keep colder, and some ships will be better for that. Um, that's why, you know, the whole life support system, engineering, the ability for fires to break out, all that stuff is going to affect cargo hauling too, because some cargo, if it gets too hot, maybe explodes, damage your ship. All right. I think we got pretty close. It'd be nice when we can drag the ship weapons into a big box. That's what we're about to try and do. Seems like ED still has super crews on lock. Um, well, the new version of Quantum Travel is a lot like Super Cruise was, is... It's like Super Cruise in Elite Dangerous, or like the jumping feature in No Man's Sky. When is the X1 expected to be in 322? When it comes to PTU, I believe. I don't prefer using mouse and keyboard, but it is a lot more... Convenient. More public conversation need to happen about reasonable expectations, constructive feedback, and also toxicity of, toxicity of the white knight contingent of the community. I don't think we have to focus on people. 
can talk about reasonable expectations and constructive feedback, but I'm not going to spend a whole stream talking about people. But if you want more conversations like that, um, that kind of stuff actually comes up a lot more on Discord. Because it's less gameplay conversation and more about the actual game itself. So I'd check that out if you're looking for it. Can I get some good music for this, please? What am I fighting? Oh, 300i. Really? For a first ship, they get put me up against a 300i and help? Not like the most impressive ship, but it's certainly uh, not an Aurora. Oh, wow. That was fast, buddy. Alright, I gotta make sure I don't lose that ship. I gotta keep that in my view while this other one is shooting. Oh yeah, these things, these lasers smack a little bit, huh? What are these, size threes? Alright, now back down to that target. Don't explode and throw everything everywhere, please. Okay. So our target has crash landed here on the surface of the moon. What can we do with this? Let's see. First, I'm going to get nice all up in their grill, real close. Be tall. Okay, so we are right here next to the ship we took out. Can you just hover a little bit here? There we go. Want to drag ship components out to your cargo bay? This way you can have extra shield generators. Yeah, that is... Well, there's definitely going to be the kind of player who just flies around with extra components, right? And once... I think once we're in a situation where you can't just fly to station super easily, we'll see that more. Somebody is just going to fly around with shield generators and offer their services to other people. So what I'm doing here is... This is a kind of a, a type of salvage I'm going to try and do. Um, I'm going to try and track the beam of the components off of the ship while we're still in the air. See if we can just quickly grab it and go. Anytime you tried to pull components last build, it was consistent crash to desktop. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh man, is this the top of the ship? Oh cool, I can move it. Can I rotate it though? Ah, there we go. Haha. <laughs> Tricked it. Okay. Can we grab the weapon off? Come on. Got it. Okay. This is our weapon now. And we'll move it inside. Whoa. Just chill right there. And where's your other gun? Oh. Nice, thank you. Does anybody know if the Avenger has physicalized components? Should I even try to get into the ship to take its components, or is it just weapons for this thing? Because if I could get this thing's components, maybe I'd try to get inside. Whoop. There you go. Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit my ship, please. 
not gold standard. Cool. All right, then. No reason to stick around. Let's now see if we can put them in a box. Someone made a Star Citizen University channel. It was meant for new players to join and help on Discord. A lot of new players have better experience when they can group up with people who understand the game. Yeah, that's kind of the point of our org as well. GII is meant to have players join so that they can learn a lot of the more newcomer based stuff. We have guide roles, working on tutorials, all that jazz. Uh oh, I don't know guys. I might not be able to actually select these. No, no. Ah, oh, crap. Please don't blow me up. I'm just going to accept that that gun is gone for good. But yeah, I cannot select these. Can I... Hmm. I don't think you can do anything with these, unfortunately. So you're still... You're still stuck with these... Gosh... Can you relax? Alright, I'm gonna fly a little bit. Maybe it'll get off of me. You're still stuck with the components just chilling in your ship, I guess. Hmm. Let me fly somewhere and buy a component and see if that works. Need the update that allows snapping of all items to the cargo grid. Yeah, that would help. <laughs> I hope that weapon's gone. Let's go to, um, where's gonna have, let's go to, uh, uh, Everest Harbor. While we're there, we can actually practice selling. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sell from the box inside the box to see if you can sell from nested boxes. That way you can start to loot certain things into different boxes and then put those boxes in a big box and then sell the specific boxes that you maybe have certain items of. And I think that mostly is going to get a lot more interesting for like orcs. So like us in GII, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with um, consolidating and unconsolidating cargo. Frenchie already runs this really good cargo mission with the Hull Sea. Tyrus runs a good cargo mission. We could probably implement a lot of these kinds of things into those missions. It's gonna be fun. What's up, Waffle? Quantum travel complete. Which should change with physicalized inventory. Um, you can't hold them before, therefore you can't physicalize, physically move around weapons. Right. That's the problem we just ran into. Um, <clears throat> But we can pull components out of ships, right? So, like, can you store those components when you pull them out of a ship? Can you physicalize a component when you buy it? If you tractor over a box, it will go in. What, it, what they seem to be implying is that these boxes are physically going to open up and we can, like, move things inside of them. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Maybe boxes are going to have their own internal cargo grid as well. And, like, we'll have gun racks that have a sort of, like, gun grid sort of thing like we have on the walls. But it's going to be really interesting to see just how much of it is physical, considering when you start moving irregularly shaped things into regularly shaped boxes, it can get frustrating in game world, where everything glitches and explodes. <laughs> no matter the situation, dire or normal, you still sit down slowly. 
they talked back in the day, back in like the pre 3.0 days, they talked about the idea that the animations of getting in and out of ships, getting in and out of seats, all that kind of stuff, you would be able to press something that could rush you through the animation um, for those more intense situations. But obviously that would be a very polish focused kind of thing. So we haven't really heard much about it since then. GI, I will need a quartermaster. Oh yeah, absolutely. We talked about it before DJ cat mom. Uh, was very interested in that before. We didn't really have the tools for it now, but I do think that's something, especially if we're going to be doing, you know, sales and equipment jobs. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Is that a reclaimer out here? Don't see that too often. Which I like. That's my favorite thing. That's what I that's that's what I can't wait for with this game is when you don't see ships every day. So when you run into one, you're like, oh wow, that's cool. Can't physicalize it if you buy it unless you take it out after installation. So I'm gonna have to get another ship, take out the component, and then grab this ship to do that. Because I just want to know if we can put components in the box, but it sounds like you're already confirming we can't. Ay ay ay, look at this hangar size. Another happy landing. What's the new subscriber overhaul about? I don't know. I didn't hear about a subscriber overhaul. I have not tested the Reclaimer yet. I haven't really done much of the salvage. Just once in the Vulture. I tried it. It's not working right now. No! Still can't, we still can't be component wranglers, huh? I'm just trying to roll up, roll up in my unmarked, no windows, super sketchy looking white spaceship to the local meeting with the kids, pop up in the back and say, hey, you, kid want, you kids want some cheap components? I got a shield generator here you couldn't find for cheaper if you were Shopping out of a van dual garbage disposal. That's that's my character. That's the creator of GII. That's uh <laughs> that's their vibe. Where do I sell this stuff at? Admin office? No. I'm gonna sell it at the weapon shop. Landing UI needs a ton of help. We need a landing UI. <laughs> People were doing insurance fraud to sell components for free money, so they took it away. Okay, so we got the spirit. Now we can select which sub-destination we want to sell from. This is where it gets interesting. And it looks like our 1SU box is gone. What I hope, though... No, so that's not good. You cannot sell from a box within a box. At least not yet. Again, this is EPTU, so this all could change by the time we go live. But once you put a box in a box, it is not registered by the shop terminal. That makes a ton of sense to me because um, these shop terminals are pretty out of date. So I'm I'm betting that they can't fully you know, like dive into the cargo system. Not a selectable location. I have a one SU box that should be showing up here. So we'll have to go and separate that in order to sell with it. It's unfortunate. The kilovator to my left. I missed that.
You're deleting SC. What's the point even? Let's grab a little bit extra cargo here. I want to see if you can move a commodity box into an inventory box. I'm, I'm really doubtful, but it seems like a fun test. Oh, wait, can you? Oh, no. I was going to say, if you could load it straight into a box, that would be very cool. Um, so let's get 2 SCU of iron. And, what? <laughs> I just bought like 200 kilograms of, of iron and she's like, I think you're really going to like that purchase. And it's going to go great with your house. You found that the C1 was too big for the size intended, especially if the landing pad size is standard throughout the known systems. Why would a manufacturer make a ship that size? Crusader. Blazing trails. No, I think the real question is, why did CIG make a manufacturer make that <laughs> ship that size? It probably just needs a bigger bigger uh, landing pad. Hope it's not a super long wait for the E1. They don't talk at all about passenger transport. I'm guessing that's a post-server uh, meshing kind of thing. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Hangar 1. I was going to guess 2. Okay, we're going to get back out to another bunker. For some more cargoing. I'm very disappointed with the, the component stuff, though. And also with the fact that we can't sell from inside a box. Still heavily limited. This is a... This is a great feature. Probably one of the most interesting features... I think they've added to the game. Hey, my gun! <laughs> Alright, I win. Just let me take out my tractor beam, though. So this is our iron, I guess. You cannot select it at all as a box, so I highly doubt you're going to be able to put this inside. Yeah, because in order to put something in a box, you have to be able to access the inventory anyways. That's already a no-go. But let's move this one SCU, actually, let's move this one SCU into the space station. That'll make that easy. And then I'm going to spawn another ship so we can get a component and see if we can at least do something with that. Oh, right, from the paper doll. Gotcha. So commodities are still on the old system. You can't even highlight the box. And in order to store something in another box, first you have to get that something into the ship inventory. In order to put the ship inventory in the box, you have to... Oh, I guess I could get the shield generator from the C1. You have to get the... Um, the box has to be selectable. So as of right now, commodities still on another system, not really working together with what we have. The as many Squadron 42 features as possible for Q1 thing makes you think we might have a better chance at getting SC before the world ends. <laughs> Star Citizen may actually become a game before the heat death of the solar system. Good for us. Where's my shield generator? Can confirm these components are removable? I guess why wouldn't they be? The ship just came out. Okay, so we'll grab that shield generator and rip it out and see what we could do with it. Let's just get out of the armistice first. I did want to sell from that box, though. I'm sorry. Let's go sell and see how much we made from the looting. Man, I really need my auto-closing landing ramp. Q1 is three months long into 2024. So time will tell. Yeah, we've got a while before then. And they've got a lot of little meetings and stuff to do to make sure that they're on the right path. K-1 
because CIG takes a huge break in January. It's one of the worst parts of the year. <laughs> like if you're if you're trying to find the most boring times of year for a Star Citizen fan, it's probably like August. Nah, September. <sighs> yeah, like September and January are the the worst months in my opinion because. September is the month before Citizen Con, so a lot more stuff's being held back. Um, and then, and then in, in January, the, the company's not even really doing outward-facing stuff. They're doing a lot of their planning and they're figuring out for the year ahead and coming back from holidays and stuff. So it can be a little bit slow and dry, but I've got some plans for it this time. So don't expect our January to be slow and dry. Okay, so, Everest Harbor subsurface would be our one SCU box here. And you can see how much we make from 14 million 800 K. We're just not gonna make any money. <laughs> what are you gonna talk about during the drought? Last year was rough. I don't think we'll ever have something like last year again. That was, that was difficult. But last year, or I guess this year, the information drought is what inspired the deep dive videos. So that's been nice. But for January, I'm going to be starting my new ship series that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. It is a lore heavy, information dense series that covers every ship manufacturer, why they exist, what they stand for, and what their ships are. I did this before. If you look, if you look back on the channel, this is like classic, maybe two, three years ago. Um, I did this before, and I would do two manufacturers per video. I, I think they have too many ships now to do that, but it was good. I really enjoyed doing it, and I think it's time for an update on that now. Let's see if we can get back in. Why do they do that? Every other profession takes a week off in December, but they need two months. No, not two months. Just one month. They're usually, they, they leave in December 23rd, and they're usually posting content again by December, by January 27th. So it's about one month period. And they do it just because, I don't know, they're a young company and they're still trying to figure out the coordination across the globe. At least young on this scale. Box labeling and color coding would be really nice. Would love to be able to label these boxes. Okay, so we're back here and we can start our selling again. Let's see. Looks like it's glitched. Came can't handle my low profits. Dude, they don't like my loot execute. How's it going, man? Okay. 807,000. Let's see what you can make. Because CIG treats their employees well. From what I've heard, everybody I've talked to um, that works there, they really do seem to genuinely enjoy it. Why does all the ship showrooms reject Drake except for Loreville? In, in the lore, um, Drake is heavily associated with piracy. And they have taken a stance that has gotten them a little bit of a controversial position with the official ship show creators so they usually end up just doing their own thing and i guess lorville is cool with them because it's hurston <laughs> so they do actual work in that time not just using our monies in the bahamas <laughs> i mean no The whole point of the, the month, the, the break in the beginning of the month, is work. They're, <laughs> they're not all on vacation. Hey, back again, I see. Welcome. Is she going to tell me that she... Uh, you're really going to appreciate that purchase.
Scott, nobody is saying that <laughs> because game developers get breaks for hard work that other people's work isn't hard. And add item to cart for buying and selling would be handy. Yeah, or maybe just like a sell all. Sell everything in your damn ship. Alright. But we're basically done. We made about 30k from a full 1 SCU box uh, loot run on a bunker. 30,000 extra S... Uh, 30,000 extra credits. Ain't bad. And now I still have an SCU box. Wait, it says it's 86% full. <laughs> Get out of here, liar. Now I have a free one SCU box. And all the ammo I could need. Cool, let's get back out there and keep going. Let's fight some more stuff. Yeah, sell all would be great. Also a buy all. Let me buy everything in the store. Why is there no option for that? I'm rich. Being fashishish. Fashishish. They still aiming for replication layer on 322. You know, I don't know what they're aiming for replication layer right now. I think they're just kind of doing it as it goes, and whenever it works, they'll, they'll throw it in. One thing you noticed was how well the ship kiosk web service Welcome held up during IAE. Was it doing a lot better this time? Responsive compared to previous years, nobody really talked about ship kiosk web services. They're not the most sexy topic, I'll give you that. Be a fun video challenge, though. Make a make a beautiful cinematic video about ship rental kiosk services and tea and whatever they're called. Um, I did not pay attention to what hangar I'm in. To the Classic. Hangar one. That's I remember that from last time. I'm the one who buys all the ammo. I like good ammo. How's the Siulin price work out after you call? Can we stop arguing in chat, please? I'm over it. <laughs> Let's move on. Should you keep your mole since you bought the Arastra? I think the mole will still be a useful ship even with the Arastra out. Plus the Arastra is going to be a while. Polishing phase is what they are in right now. The vibe is off in this chat. Agreed. Guys, can we please? <laughs> Why does this always devolve into arguments? What the heck? What have you done to my ship, Everest Harbor? <laughs> what in the world? Okay. Let's uh grab our tractor beam. I'm not even going to be able to get into my ship if I can't move these boxes. Okay. All right. No, don't. <laughs> no, come back. Oh, God. Gravity is on strike. Did you come down here? Ah, there you are. Come on. You're not getting away. Let's go. These boxes. YouTube chat misbehaving. Where are my YouTube mods? Whoop. There we go. We're free. I don't even want this anymore. Get it? You can stay here. You're just causing trouble. You too. Bye. <laughs> you never laughed so hard because of my 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 uh, discomfort.
They're trying to keep my ship safe from hijackers by blocking the doors. I, it's very effective until I get on board. And then CIG is not great. Okay, finally back on our second little mission. First, we're just gonna see if this component works real quick. I'm, I'm pretty doubtful it's gonna work, but it's worth trying. When is it not? Thank you. Please visit again. Just hopped into the stream. Have I tested especially the 8SU boxes? Okay, seriously, guys, if you keep arguing, I'm gonna time you out. Cut it out. Just hopped into the stream. Have I tested especially the 8SU box? I have, yes. Well, kind of. I have an 8SU box, but I haven't really done too much with it yet. Do that on your C2 when you're doing the wake. You put a box on top of the ladder to keep people from taking your ship. <laughs> that That's a good call. It's nice we can lock our ships now. Don't take it personally. I'm just saying that chat needs to cool. I don't care who it is. Anyone else a CIG subscriber? How you liking that updated subscriber potted plant reward? Somebody said they redid the subscriber program. What is that? What did they actually do to the program? And why can't I get my multi-tool out? Did I not go outside of Armistice? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Now we have the opportunity to bring in barricades. Yes. Actually, that was really fun. I'll, I'll do that. That's what we'll do for our next test. We'll bring in the, uh, the box to the bunker and see if we can use it as cover. Last time, they didn't really shoot at me too much, so we didn't get to see if it was effective. But this time. Oh, this time. Still in the AC, Arizona. Oh, Armistice Zone. <laughs> I'm like, why is Jim telling me he's in Arizona right now? We good? Okay. Now we can do this. New cargo changes mean the cargo is locked to the grid, so can't be stolen while the doors are locked. Well, if you're not in the party. If you're in the party, you can do that. Last sub change was the PTU deal. People are just talking about something changing with subs. Uh, somebody mentioned that earlier today, and I don't know exactly what it was about. All right, what were we going to do out here? Oh, I'm going to take the shield generator off. See, that, that I actually do need to unlock for. Yeah, let me go do that. Uh, that's, that's actually, Maverick brings up a good point, though. That's... One of the changes to cargo. Nice little little piece. All of the cargo boxes, because they can now be interacted with and pulled off and all that stuff, you have to unlock the ship itself. So you know how you have to unlock the components for people to be able to move them? You're going to have to do that with the, the cargo boxes as well, so people can't just walk on and steal your boxes without your, your say-so. Nice little touches, I think, that are going to make this game way easier to play. Don't think they made their post about the sub changes yet. Oh, okay. They announced it was going to change. They haven't said how. Is this still... Yo, does this thing not have interactable components? There's... That wouldn't make sense, right? Did I just not come and unlock them? That's strange. Right, alt, K. Oh, the unlock button just doesn't do it itself. That's... 
I hope that that's easier to find on the dash. Am I a sub? I'm not a subscriber. I used to be. Uh, we actually were talking about getting our subscription back again. Because that is how we like to give away that thing, that stuff. Uh, the subscriber items are really good to pass on to you guys. Okay, here we go. Shield generator is ours. Wow, it's heavy compared to the boxes. Put it right here next to the 4SU, 2SU crate. But I can't, yeah, see, I can't. There's nothing I can do to select it. So if I were to go to this inventory, I couldn't grab it and move it into that box. So they really need to get all these other objects on this sort of physical system that they are doing everything else with. Hmm. Because I can't move this into the ship inventory either. Still good fun. That's too bad. Now let's go back and see if these boxes can act as as uh, whoop, protection while we're fighting. Item misaligned. How is it supposed to go in? Like this? How does it go in? Like this? Like this? <laughs> what? It, it looks like it's supposed to be like this. No? What do you mean misaligned? Upside down. Oh, really? What kind of nonsense is that? Whoops. <laughs> I'm not good at this. This is why I will probably not be an engineer. No. <laughs> I'm stuck. Why won't this go back in? It's like a USB. How is that not correct? Oh, maybe... Wait, can I... Oops. How about like this? Maybe it was backwards. Maybe it was backwards. Yes! Aha. They should really put a sign on there. This way forward. Just buy another one. <laughs> oh, God. I can't get this part back into my ship. Can I just have another one, please? Was hoping I'd just rattle him off since he has the experience. What was, uh, what was the question? I might have missed that. Also, what happened to my music? What are the perks and costs of subscribing? I actually don't know the answer to that. I know that you get your, your monthly item. Um, I think it's 15 bucks a month. And you also get, like, in on some things early. Y'all were like screaming at your computers, huh? Turn it 180 degrees! <laughs> I'm a great engineer. Very good at my job. Super skilled at 
component management. Assist in defending site. Come help Hurston Dynamics fight off some baddies. All right, we can do that. We'll use boxes as cover. We'll use boxes as weapons. Today is a box kind of day. So I'm guessing those the, the packages that we get for our courier missions also won't be able to be put into these larger boxes because they can't be put into inventories. But man, once they can, that'll be cool. Just get a bunch of boxes, put them in a large box, and ship that. Box Citizen. Broch, br Broch, Dring, and Valorant Key. Valorant Key, wow. Hey, thanks for the sub. That's quite the name. Is that a family name? We need those 1 8th racks you see in the Xeno cargo bays. I wonder how much we're going to be using 1 8th boxes. Alright, I'm going to set myself on cruise here. And I will be back before we get there. Promises. But enjoy the show until we do. Nice. That's pretty good timing. So, the subscription service has a, a fun history around it. Um, it was originally started to... I mean, they made Star Citizen, right? And then they started making all these YouTube shows for Star Citizen. And they realized this is a great way to keep people involved, active, and excited for the stuff. Problem was, they didn't want to use development costs for these shows. So, they started subscription services that would pay for all of the production and the people who are working on these different shows like ISC and Around the Verse. And back in the day, we had other things like 10 for the Chairman and um, Bug Smashers and other things like that. So that's kind of what the, the idea of the subs was, was to um, pay for the additional marketing. So like CitizenCon stuff, uh, Bar Citizen stuff, content that would come out of the company would be paid for by the subs. I don't know if they're still doing that. Obviously, they have a lot more content coming out, but they also get a lot of, of subs, so I think it could match up, but there's no real knowing. It's also a great way for them to make some, some money, monetize. But again, I think that kind of stuff ultimately makes for better community events and stuff. At least I like to think so. <laughs> that makes me feel better. All right, let's settle down. Gosh, sometimes I think this ship is almost too thin. You know? Look at how, like, it's like a freaking slice of butter flying through space. Did I just put my landing gear up? I can't even tell. Yeah. Maybe even pays for SitCon. I do think it pays for part of it. Obviously, CitizenCon tickets go a long way, but... It's one of those things that would benefit from more subscriptions, I think. No, not the parts that ship pledges didn't cover. They're not supposed to be using any ship pledges for that stuff. That's That was the point. It's 
such a pizza city. <laughs> How much work do they got to do to keep stuff for the subscribers? I don't know. It's probably intangible for anybody who's not directly involved. Because they have items that they're making specifically for subscribers, as well as events and activities that are for everyone, but are, are funded by subscribers. Is this my inventory box? Yeah. Okay, we're going to take this in and use this as our cover for the fight. And, of course, for our loot. Never forget the loot. You pay 24 euros for your sub? Oh, that's way easier now. Did they make a change just in that small amount of time with these doors, or what? Is there a limit on what size box the one-handed tractor poop beam can pick up? Um, I think the one-handed tractor beam can get a 32 SCU. I'm not sure. I gotta check. In my opinion, it should be weight limited, but they don't seem to be factoring in weight all that much yet, so um, I think it will change. Alright, let's see how this goes. Hopefully they don't have really good aim. I also don't have a gun to shoot back with, so I'm kind of just on the defensive doing this. Let me just take this guy out with the box. I missed him. Let's try it again. Got him. Oh, almost lost my box. Pow. Smash his head. Pow. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Wait! Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. They didn't even shoot at me. They're too intimidated by the box. Haha! -ha! It works! Try it again. Try B. See if it works. See if you can shoot me. You can't. You can't. You can't hang. You can't chill. <laughs> and shoot me then. Gosh. Oh crap. Didn't didn't know you were there. So ah. Oh! Yes. Okay. Confirmed. It works, guys. Those shots definitely would have hit me. Ow! Okay, that did hit me. Was that from somewhere else? <laughs> I feel like we're dancing. Yeah, this is definitely working. It'll be interesting, though, when the uh, cargo boxes themselves can take damage. Alright, man. You're taking too long. Oh, yeah. Now you shoot. Wow. Okay. Actually, it's almost like he knew I was undercover and then waited until I wasn't. Whoa. Okay. That was also, I think, probably a time where I would have died before. Instead, it just took my health down and gave me an injury. So it seems maybe there is something that they have in this now where it almost stops you from dying. Possibly. Come on, then. 
Oh! <laughs> Ouch! Nobody likes getting shot in the face. All right, come on. We got one more person to kill. You don't like my dancing? It was a bit of a ballet mixed with salsa. Mmm. Yummy. <laughs> These boxes really caused me a lot of troubles. Dang, a lot of people died in here. Fear my box! Ugh. Smash! Smash! Man, this guy is, uh, box resistant. He's overpowered the box. He's overpowered the box. Take him out. Take him out. He's too dangerous. Just reload first. <laughs> and just get rid of that clip. Well, that went well. Super not glitchy at all. But, uh, yeah. I mean, we can at least confirm that these boxes definitely act as cover. You can use them to protect yourself as you're moving through a base or something. Even more fun. Now let's start looting. <laughs> what the F is going on? We around these parts call it Star Citizen. He's got a box. Take him out. What's in here? A gallant, not bad. A P8, okay. Take those. I will take them for myself. Come on, let's go. Chill right there. I'm just gonna grab all of these guns. That man was part of the Nine Tails Moon program. Which moon? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the instability is is really that's the best part. Like, my guns are dancing with happiness. They're so excited to get looted. They can't... They can't even sit still. I don't like you. <laughs> that was a fun sound. What else can we loot? Nothing. Can't wait until this is like... There's actual data being stored here. Like, you can come here and download a file for a location or something. For now, it just sounds like a room full of crickets. The pistol was spinning with excitement. It was singing. You could hear it. Aren't we supposed to have local inventories in these bunkers? Is that no longer a thing? Did they change that? Come on. <sighs> God. There we go. Oh, 
Back downstairs we go. Ooh, back to our original spot where we dominated these folks. I'm just gonna move all the guns over here again. JS, what's up? Things are going, how are you doing? Given how janky the menu and physics are, wouldn't it be more efficient to just jump your dump your inventory into the box, then go around and grab the loot into your inventory and transfer it from your inventory into the box, rather than just trying to pick stuff up off the floor? That probably will be more efficient. I'm just a little pleb that doesn't really think too much about the gameplay they're doing, so... I tend to choose less efficient routes. I do like this though. I think it's I think I'm kind of just enjoying the novelty of physically taking something and putting it in the inventory. I wonder if you could shift click it. No. That'd be nice if you could double click to get it into your inventory. Still the old drag it. Uh drag it drop. Have they made it so you can open up the loot screen for a body and open the crate while in that inventory? No. You can't do that just yet. We're getting close though, and that that would be the last step before we're able to, I think, just transfer things to our friends when we're standing next to them, which like could would be really nice. I'm sick and tired of dropping something on a ship, hoping it doesn't glitch through, and then rushing my friend to pick it up. Yeah, the data heist missions are pretty cool here, but that data is not really data, let's be honest. Man, everybody's gonna care so much more about their st well can I can't say everybody it feels like you have an excuse to care so much more about the things you're carrying now like I could just come over here and be like which gun do I really want look at my selection maybe I maybe I want a gallant instead of a p8 let me just switch that out real quick this is very cool it's a very solid step forward Let's see, what else could we do to test these boxes right now? I know somebody wanted to test if um, a, another player could access the inventory. But I don't see why they wouldn't be able to, because these basically are just acting the same as a loot container or a, uh, or a body. Bringing boxes to Ghost Hollow? What for? Data discrimination. Your data is not good enough for this place. Take your data elsewhere. successfully stored box. What if I wanted to change stuff from one box to the other? I think what I would have to do would be transfer a box into the ship inventory and then transfer the box from the ship inventory into the other box. Or I guess I wouldn't even have to do that, but then you could just, whoops. Yeah, you could just click, click through and send it all through. And you have transfer from one box to another. And you just come back in this box. And you could throw the, oh my god. <laughs> Maybe be careful with that part. But now we have another empty box again. Yay, cargo management. This doesn't seem to be sticking. Let's put it here. 
I think I have enough space maybe for a um, 32 SCU box. We can go pick up. For some reason, this isn't working. Uh, I think we just lost our scrap. Good riddance. I didn't need it. I didn't want it. I just want to put this over here so we can get a bigger box of something. There we go. All right, let's get to a uh, outpost. Jump town maze boxes into one SCU. Well, we don't know if those work. That's what I should do. We need to find one of these new ground locations or a dispensary. See if we can find one of those boxes of drugs and see if you can store it. Maybe a delivery. Uh, HGMS Pinewood. I might have to fly there from using Verse Guide, huh? They do they have missions at these locations yet? Take the re-up mission, personal. What is the re-up mission? I don't see that on here. Why am I playing solo? A uh, combination of things. It's EPTU. I generally like to play solo because it's when I'm streaming it's easier to like not get too distracted and leave people hanging while I'm playing with them and stuff so um assistant defending those are all mercenary missions yeah I don't know if I think I might have to manually find one of these places let me see if any of them pop up on First guide here. UGF, UGF. UGF. These are all UGFs. Ah, uh, here we go. Pickersfield. Trash town, they call it. Um, let's see. May need to lock, unlock a tier 1 delivery. Possibly, yeah. I could manually fly to one of these places, but it might be better to do a delivery mission first. Alright, let's try and make this happen. We're gonna use the stoic make stoic mako method. Oh. Everything's still pretty glitchy. It seems maybe what another six years ish in the oven for a limited release with less systems, less systems than we have now. What are you basing that timeline off of? Six years. <laughs> Like a Star Wars gonk droid, but that was SCU would follow you around. Gonk droid? Which ones are those? Crusader system gives you the box delivery personal missions. That's what the re-up mission is? Star gonk. <laughs> I don't know the gonk. There's supposed to be delivery missions from Crusader here. I guess maybe I gotta get better reputation with them first. 
Okay, Quantum 2 OM.2 is our first... First thing we need to do. Gotta find a OM point first. Here's one. Six. The walking box that says gonk, gonk all the time? Which one is that in? Oh, is that the old one from like way back, the older movies? There's OM.2. What the heck, is that another ship out here? again, target OM2 again. Okay, target OM2. Gonna have to find it first. Air 6. There it is. OM2. Fly towards it till I'm less than a hundred meters. Too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast. Okay. Uh, distance to the center should be 1436. 815. Let's see what it is. 1436. Point at OM6 and fly forward until distance is 1000 kilometers. Please tell me that OM6 isn't super far. There's three. So six is. No. Four. Six. Oh my god, that's a thousand kilometers. Let's see if I can uh, cheat this a little bit. That only got us 400 more kilometers. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that again. YouTube and Twitch chat are the only chats I have going right now, yes. Okay, that's better. 200 kilometers we could do. Okay, stop falling. Now we just fly another 150 kilometers. Ah, oh, God, that tickles. <laughs> Mrs. Tomato is having her fun for the day. Ah. God. I am now Princess Peach. But, Tomato. I am now Princess Tomato. Distant cousin to Princess Peach. And less, less sweet. A little bit more, uh, earthy in flavor. Princess Peach's earthy flavored cousin. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Yeah, this is uh This is how I look when I'm generally out and about. You guys only see me with my streaming get up. Khaleesi. Conqueror of of weeds. Um God, I don't even remember her titles anymore. She had like twenty. And then they all ended when she died. Sorry, spoiler alerts. Ho! Ho ho ho! Who that? Is that Coder John? Yo! Just like single handedly completed our goal for YouTube today, man. Thank you so much. Ten members. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. First of her name. First of her tomato. Welcome to uh, the membership, as we're calling it, I guess. Holder of lines. I like that one. 
<laughs> Holder of lines, buyer of ships, lover of JPEGs, nerdy of space. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys. Welcome to the new membership sub club, whatever you want to call it. I just released a new video for you guys. Uh, supporter exclusive. It came out, I think, two days ago. And it's all about the Montreal studio. The Montreal studio was created to allow us to build way more star systems than we have right now. They want to, uh, obviously they have a grand goal of 100. I don't know if we'll ever see that. But they built the Montreal studio with the goal in mind that we need to expand into star systems quickly. So the, the new video kind of talks about how they've changed the development a bit of locations and stuff over the last few years. How they helped with server meshing, spectrum, all the website stuff, and sort of what their plans are for the future with the studio. So if you are a su subscriber on Twitch, supporter on mem on uh, YouTube or Patreon, make sure to check that out. Sauciest of Tomats. Tiller of Soil. I like these titles. Crasher of Desktops. That's, yeah, all right, all right, all right. All right. Can you relax, YouTube? I'm sorry, y'all. Just calm down for now. You believe SC will hit beta in 2025 by sitcom? Oh boy. That's that's quite the uh that's quite the guess. Princess Buttercup. All right, we're almost there. This music is perfect. I feel hyped to reach my destination. I think an imposter is imitating tomato. Dude, this is my normal hair. Usually I have a wig with like a cover so you guys can't see it. God, this is itchy. Point at OM6 fly until you are 1,020. Oh crap, I'm decoupled. 1,020 kilometers away. Point at Hurston, fly away in reverse until you are 1,000 kilometers up. Point at OM3. This is insane. <laughs> like, I wonder if this is actually going to work for me. Oh, what the heck? Wow, wait, <laughs> somebody just dropped 12 subs. That also, uh, you just balanced out YouTube, I see you. Twitch Wetsu, thank you so much for the support over there. Also getting another raffle started over there. Y'all keep saying sub raffle, it doesn't work. <laughs> the only person who can do it are the bots of the mods. I appreciate the candor though. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Dimitri, also gifted out a membership on YouTube. <laughs> Tit for tat, I see. Thank you, though. You leave your screen for two seconds, come back to this blonde egril. I am tomato. This is, this is tomato in princess form. Can I go any slower? I made the mistake of getting into atmosphere, so now we're going very slow. Try and get up a little higher. How am I liking 322? It's okay, I mean, it's not a huge change for the game by any means, but the stuff that did change is very, very nice. The inventory stuff is just... It's, it's such a big quality of life change that it's more than quality of life being able to control our inventories better with these boxes. Being able to just spawn a 1 SCU box. How long have we been waiting for that? We've been we've been spawning 1 8th SCU boxes for like a year and a half. So it's nice that we can now start getting more storage and, and um, organize it better. I am feeling bonita. <laughs> Good, because you look bonita. So which new outpost are you going to make home for your group? You know, I've been really about New Babbage. 
but after these last this last week or two of just kind of testing out the game and trying to do it more generally and realizing just how terrible the game is at supplying missions and content right now for a certain location new babbage almost is restricting I'm thinking Hurston, but I don't know. We have a we have a big org wide meeting this weekend where we'll make the announcement, but I don't know. Too stormy on New Babbage? Oh, but the grass is so nice. I have not checked out that wingman AI stuff, no. Watched a video on it, but that was about it. Okay, so we're going till 1,020 kilometers, so we're just about there. Alright. Here we are. Now we are 1,020 away from OM6. Now we point at Hurston. Directly at the center of Hurston. And we will back up um, for a hundred kilometers. Yeah, going to a derelict, derelict settlement. Abdi, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. How you doing? Hey, Woody. How's your coffee? Going to love the new map and radar system coming next corner. I hope it's coming next corner, but who knows? Left for an hour and came back to a blonde. What'd you miss? What, you, you've never dyed your hair in one hour? I'm very quick. What's up with Pyro 5? I think Pyro 5 is going to be pretty much not in use. Like, I'm pretty sure Pyro 5 will only be useful for its moons. It'll be like Crusader, but I don't think it's going to have orbiting platforms. Hey, thanks for the sub, Grimshock. Appreciate you. You guys pushed us over the goal for Twitch. Wasn't expecting to break that. Thank you. Impasta. <laughs> Impasta. Man, I, I, oh gosh, a new star map. I'm assuming new star map would also mean new quantum travel. I'm guessing because the new star map is going to include placeable beacons, which would need to include the functionality for quantum boosts. If we were to get a new star map and quantum travel change, I could literally, they, they could drop 323 in March and only include a new star map and quantum travel and I would be okay. That's, it doesn't get more important than that. Yes. I am in pasta. <sighs> Pyro 5's not in the test, no. <sighs> not ready to show you. Whoa! Wow, I sped up very quickly there. Dang, getting out of atmosphere. Not ready to show you all of Pyro yet. Yeah, I mean, I, that, that's a good choice. I, I don't think... I think it was a lot better to not have shown all of Pyro. Being able to just show a couple, just just wet the beaks was nice. Because, like, the real joy of Pyro isn't even the planets. It's the factions and reputations, so. No need to, to ruin the surprise of the locations, too. Point at OM3, fly forward until you reach 2,000 meters altitude. And your destination should be right below you. Okay, so I need to back up a little bit more here. I 
I can't wait for the star map. I'm gonna do a, a, a video. God, I don't even know how to do a video on it. I've just been waiting so long. Everything that I do is gonna feel inadequate. Do you know anything about the Baylor salvage arms for the Vulture in 322? Are they repairable or purchasable? I don't know. Uh, do they not... Are those the alternative salvage arms? From the... Uh, oh, God, what is the... Is that a third one or is that just the other salvage arm from the one we normally use? Ask you why you're crying while there isn't Maelstrom already? Because <laughs> salvage... Salvage would be much more interesting if Maelstrom was in-game. Alright, now we just need to find OM3. There it is. And we will chase OM3 until our altitude is 2,000 meters. Let's see if this works. Mostly waiting for the new face generation generator, the character customizer. Jack's tugging at our heartstrings. <laughs> Jack, are you a QA? Or like Evo? Or with the company? Twenty SU of Weevil eggs. Stuck inside a shot down Andromeda bounty, can't get them out because the cargo bay is only partially open. Was that what Frenchie was talking about earlier? Like a huge deposit of weevil eggs for some reason? There is a workaround for the, for the uh, vulture tractor salvage arm not working. I'm trying to figure out if uh, is it is it that you do we have new salvage arms? That's something I'll need to include in my video. Been with them almost four years. How you liking it? Hey, what's up, Mr. Pink? Good to see you. We got a long ways to go, my friends. When did the wig appear? I grew it over the last hour or so. All right, since this is going to take a little while, I'll be back in a cool minute, guys. Or a hot minute, whichever you prefer. I think it's kind of time to retire Bonita for a little bit. Uh-oh, am I still on target? Yeah. Retire Bonita Tomato until the streamathon. Ah. Woo! Although, if you see me around outside walking in the streets, you'll probably see my uh, my beautiful hair. So don't worry, it's not gone for good. You once walked away during a descent, you can tell you that didn't end well. Yeah, I I make sure to uh, 
not let that go for... Not let it go for too long while I'm gone anymore. I've made that problem, or I've made that mistake enough times. Okay. It should be right below us. <laughs> it is not. Oh, man. Is it? Is that it? No. I don't think... I don't think we found it. Unfortunately... I don't think this worked. I tried the stoic method, but uh, unfortunately... I think maybe I was a bit off on one of my jumps or calculations. Because from what I'm understanding, it should be somewhere below me here. And it's just not. That's too bad. I could just keep backing up along that line, because that's kind of where the trajectory would have taken me from there anyways, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. This is the, this is kind of the bummer of improper scanning systems. That's another thing I'd love to see in Q1 next year. We can't scan to find a derelict settlement, so there's really no, like, there's, there's no exploring to find it. You either have to get a mission or you have to know from online how to find it, which is just not great. Where'd President Dwayne Elizondo Mountain Dew Herbert's tomato go? I don't think I meant that one. Or, uh, I don't think I've met... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God. That's funny. Can you give me five mi <laughs> What? Can you give me five million in-game to buy new ships? You got a small Mustang ship. I don't even have five million in game. Hell of a first time chat. <laughs> yeah. Well, the funny thing is, is in my in my new player's guide, I did say No, I'm sorry. In my guide for what to do before a wipe comes up, I told people I was like, go around and ask people for money. That's uh, people are not gonna care about keeping it. They'll be happy to give it to you since it's all going to get wiped anyways. It's a great way to experience the game. And people were like, stop telling people to ask us for money. It's so, ah, it's everywhere. And I was like, I just mean during wipes, folks. Which I stand by that. If a, if a wipe is coming up to the servers, that is the time to get into servers and start asking people if they can send money, if they can let you borrow ships. It's like a sale. It's like a flash sale. Assistant defending site. Man, I really wish... Hmm. What else is there? Did I... Have I covered everything in this update? Global chat's full of beggars now. Really? That's a little bit annoying. Uh, derelict settlements, which we can't find. Cargo containers, inventory. Ooh! Why don't we check out uh, Arena Commander to finish off here? I want to see how that's running. I want to see the new maps. I hope they put them in. So let's turn back in. 
A successful day of cargo testing, I think. I want to I want to see if we can make like a if we can pack a hull sea full of one specific type of weapon. Just find them for 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 days and days stock up and then eventually we'll put them in a bunch of boxes and attach it to a hull sea and ship it across the system and then lose everything to a 30k and quit our lives jobs and uh sell our houses because that would be <laughs> That would be incredibly discouraging. Doesn't it suck though that we turn off global chat by default? It shouldn't be like that. I might have five million, but I'm pretty sure I have around two or three. I do appreciate that people assume I have that much money. Thank you. I like to think I'm that successful as well. Echo Zeppelin, dude, thanks for the sub, man. Three months. Three three happy, enjoyable months. Echo is one of our uh, newer citizens here in the community, but very knowledgeable already. Just lost 10 million yesterday. Congratulations. It's practically Star Citizen Day for people. It's like a rite of passage. Hello, space station. Do you still exist? Should be right here. Hmm. I can't tell if... Lorville is on the other side of the planet or not? I don't think it is. 164 clicks is not that far. Let's see. Oh, it is! Okay. That's why I can't see the space station. We just gotta get over the horizon here. Oh, nope. It is right there. I was wrong. We do not want to go down there. In that case, the space station should be right above us. Engines on. Where the heck is this? Oh, there it is. Could bed log. That'd be the cooler way to do it. You just want to be able to plug yourself into SC when the time comes. <laughs> IVs and poop bags. That's, uh... Ah. Sounds like the life. <laughs> uh, just, just pump fruit jelly into my bloodstream and make sure I'm not sitting in my own waist. Taryn, thanks for the pizza biddies, dude. Always appreciate it. Hope... You have a great stream, also pizza biddies. Taryn is another person who's been here for like ever and has always consistently covered us with a hundred bits for the pizza. And that's always the best kind of pizza. Love you, Taryn. Hope you're having a good week. Can anyone of the party members bed log out of some of the ships? Nobody else can be on the ship right now, which is a kind of a temporary stopgap. But eventually, yes, anybody who is in your in your crew will be able to bedlog from that ship. Um, obviously, there's a lot of explaining they'll have to do about what that means for people when the ship is offline or when the ship owner isn't around and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see more of that more when the persistence becomes a thing, probably after server meshing is further along. But those are the questions that are starting to become more, like, real. For the longest time, most of the things that we would talk about with Star Citizen, we'd talk about like they were years away. So there was some sense of... This all can still change. Even if there is a hole in the explanation that we're talking about here that we don't get, it will eventually be figured out. 
Um. <laughs> pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that. <laughs> I, did I record that? <laughs> no, that wasn't recording. Somebody clip that, please. <laughs> Oh, God, that's funny. He just said, attention, and then blew up. <laughs> like, it was great because we heard the explosion, and then also his video feed cut out at the same time. <laughs> God, that is hilarious. That was, oh, God. It's quality humor, Star Citizen. Um, but yeah, as I was saying... Everything that we would talk about, we'd talk about with the sense of, like, it can all still change. But now, suddenly, things are, like, happening. Like, when we talk about how a persistent hanger is supposed to work, it's like, it's gonna be in the next patch. So it actually has to work like this. And we talk about the idea of, like, how is a, how is a hab gonna work? How are you gonna have an apartment? People didn't even know how apartments would work up, up until this year when they started talking about building interiors. Um, so the everything is a lot different now when it comes to like talking about Star Citizen and that's the best part of it all because this used to be... Everything used to be speculation in theory crafting. And now it's not. But I appreciate those days. Those were fun. We had good times. May Odin give you knowledge on your path. May Thor grant you strength and courage on your way. And may Loki give you laughter as you go. May the blessings of your gods and my own be with you all. <laughs> Thanks, Dutch. How you doing today, man? Good to see you. We are working on a system that when you invite peeps to your ship through party or org, that it it's fair game if it gets taken from you by one of them. That's... which is fair. Like, I'm guessing that the party system will eventually turn into, like, a crew system. I'm, I, I don't know if you can have multiple crews at a time, that'd be great. If you could assign crews to ships, whatever, but that's probably a really big system of trust you'd have to depend on. What I really hope, though, is that we get some additional org tools in-game, or just even a way to identify org members in-game would be so nice. Right now, it's orgs basically don't exist we only exist because we meet on discord and send each other party invites but there's not really much else you can do back on salvage in 322 do you take a break hi thanks for coming in You have to there. manually Thanks remove them from the list. The Solid. My favorite game loop? Um, I don't really have one. Generally, I just like interacting with things and moving things around. So cargo and looting and that kind of stuff I really enjoy. Gone for like four months, I see. Box monkey. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Everything's good again. We'll be happy to see you in the events again. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, no, we're going to see Arena Commander. That's right. I almost forgot about Arena Commander. Yeah, if you're scared to get your stuff stolen, then you probably don't want to have certain people on your ship. But we already know who those certain people are. Okay, Arena Commander. What's new? Well, this is a new front end. Oh, no, it's not. It's the same one. Patch notes. Oh, crap. It opens it in the browser. <laughs> Oops. All right, so we've got... Um, I believe, God, wh where were the new maps? They were in the FPS mode, right? Elimination. And I just kind of have to hope that I get one of the new maps. Let me see real quick. 3.22 EPTU.
Arena Commander Multi-Crew is one of the testing focuses, but it does not say Arena Commander New Maps. So I'm not sure if they have actually included that in this patch. Um, no, it looks like they just did multi-crew and spawn locations and in-game vehicle selection. Gone are the days when forgetting to pick your vehicle before the game starts locking you into it. Okay, so it looks like um, I'm not going to actually be able to see the new maps because they're not in the game yet. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I'm at a standstill now. I am thinking, though, if anybody else is in EPTU, I guess we could try the multi-crew stuff. Is anybody in EPTU? Players have the ability to enable multi-crew spawning on their selected ships. And other players in the match and on your team will have the ability to select turret and crew positions. Yeah, if you guys want to hop in, I'd be down to do like a round of this. And see what the multi-crew looks like. This be like Pirate Swarm. Oh, look at that. We have a hammerhead to test with. Downloading right now, Frenchie. <laughs> How that's going to take forever to download. Well, while we're getting the group together and we're getting some more people into this lobby with us, why don't you all Let's talk about what is, um, what's most exciting to all of you that potentially is coming up in the next couple of months or a few quarters. I'm going to make a channel on the Discord for you guys to join so that we can communicate. Uh, but I will be muted for... I will be muted at first, so... Feel free to join in and... Make yourself at home, maybe get some socks. Relax a bit. And then I will be with you shortly. Speaking of socks, did you guys know that we have custom made um, uh, custom made very high quality space tomato socks that you can get exclusively, believe it or not, nobody else sells these exclusively from the space tomato gaming. And uh, I believe if you type in exclamation point toes, it will show you where the new home of your toes will be. And trust me, they're actually very good socks. Like, if you want a, a nice... If you maybe are a sock collector, these are pretty solid. Partially because they have tomatoes on them, partially because they fit really well, but also because they label your toes for you. So it actually says, my toes, which, you know, it. some people forget. Just need a reminder every once in a while. But yeah, these are great for winter. We originally made them for winter I think two years ago now um, <clears throat> and we are honestly we we're just trying to um, spread the joy the joy of happy warm toes and then next we have a tomato plushie I hope that would be awesome do they fit in your spacesuit they're actually made for spacesuits they act as uh, waste disposal as well just in case you can't hold it you're looking forward to a star map and base building well, one of those is definitely coming earlier than the other. Yo, you just ordered two pairs of the socks? Nice. When you get them, 
send us pics. Not that I'm asking for feet pictures, but you know, like, let us know how they are. Thank you. Thanks for grabbing some. It's also a great way to support us. Like if you do want to support the channel, buying socks from us actually is better than getting subs and stuff. Um, because, well, the subs are 50% taken away from us. The socks go to us fully and they also help us clear out our warehouse. <laughs> you need a party invite too? Okay. Oh, I see. Can't get into the lobby until then. I'm really looking forward to the star map though. That's a huge one. You'll get a plushie for your son when those are available. I, we will, we will push and push and push until we can get one of those. Even if we have to move a mountain or just move some cotton into a stuffed animal. All right, we got three out of four in the lobby. You can only have four? What's the point of having a hammerhead if you can only have four people in your lobby? Maybe we have something else with three turrets on it instead of six? Maybe like a redeemer? Use some REC for that. And there we go. Selected. Okay. So we've got the four of us. Can you see the hammerhead or the redeemer? Polaris, Perseus, Galaxy. That's what I think. Keychains and GII pins. Uh, we've got a GII pin, pin headed out to a, a lucky GII member right now who was owed one. But if you guys are going to Equinox here in California, anybody who might be coming to the Equinox Star Citizen Bar Citizen event, I think it's next Saturday, we will be there. And we will have some GII merch for those who are members and see us there. So if you see us over there, make sure to tap us on the shoulder or like throw something at us. I don't know. Tomato flavored vape. Ew. <laughs> That's disgusting, dude. <laughs> oh, that sounds so gross. Could have sworn you were following before. Hello, Galactica. Thanks for following. Welcome aboard. Believe we may or may not have... Uh, need to confirm, actually, if, if we're doing the podcast. Don't see the Redeemer in your lobby. Just the default cutlass. Well, you guys should be able to see my Redeemer, right? Can you, can you select a ship? Um, can you select a seat? Let me unmute myself actually. Hey y'all. You guys are having trouble seeing the Redeemer? Uh, yeah, I don't see it. Uh, I just see the default. Hmm. I only see my own ship, so I can't uh, select your Redeemer. What if you ready up? What is it? Just lets me launch. Oh, that's uh, weird. Uh, ready? Let me meet your Whoops. stream real quick. There we go. Next player is 16. Close to classic race. Yeah, it doesn't change the viewable vehicle for me if I ready up or not. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe it's not working yet? Has anybody. Possibly. Has anybody uh, in chat seen this actually work? Because, yeah, I mean, it says it on the patch notes that they've got multi-crew and spawn locations. You have one job! Or... This update enables a long-awaited introduction of multi-crew to squadron battle, tank, team tank battle, free flight, and swarm modes. Okay, so maybe I need to do squadron battle. There we go. How about now? Uh, you ready up again? No, it just I think it's just a placeholder. Uh, but you do have eight people that can join now, as opposed to the four. Yeah. Okay, well, 
I guess ready up and let's see if it works. Maybe maybe once I launch it, it lets you pick seats. Hopefully. Uh, does it show me ready? It says somebody is not ready. Dutch. The screen did change, but I can't ready up anymore. I can't press anything. Your thing is grayed out. Hmm. Okay. Um. Okay, let me try switching back again. How about now? I... Weird. It, it's great up for me too. I just clicked ready though. I can't even <sighs> click ready up. That's the biggest problem. Okay, how about, how about now? No, it's uh, not even selectable anymore. What the heck just happened? All right, now it's back. Now I can ready up. Yeah, I just kicked you guys I out. Form, I can ready up. Try, try joining on me again. Okay, I'm here. Thanks I'm for following, though, Galaxica. Appreciate you. Yeah. Folks, if you don't know, Galaxica is a community manager at CIG, also a streamer. Channels in the Twitch chat. Check her out if you have not. Um, she she might be able to give you more info about Star Citizen than I can. Probably not though, because I imagine it's against the you know the whole job description thing. Um, okay, there we go. I'm gonna try and launch us in. Hopefully it works. Right. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Oh. I could not select your redeemer, so I'm curious what's going to do. Yeah, that should be interesting. It's putting us on an atmospheric map. Uh multi crew is enabled. I still just see a cutlass. Yo, Fate, thank you for the hundred bits, mate. Your ship and then they choose oh, you first have to spawn your ship and then they choose the places to spawn inside your ship. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. Good start. That's a good start. It just kicked me back to menu, though. Oh, I guess it always uh, does. Yeah, we're, we're still in the lobby, it looks like. I'm not back to menu, so I'm back in launch thingy. I, have I sent you guys an invite to the new lobby. I'm going to select the Redeemer, just, I, I don't know if it makes a difference. Can I just ready up? Yeah. yeah. You, you, apparently you'll be readying, uh, picking the ship after we spawn in. This time, at Security Post Korea. Classic. Press X ready. Okay, here we go. So you can pick the different slots in the ship looks like so i could pick slot one all right so i see my own ship the uh the Sulan. i don't see your ship oh i have to spawn my ship first maybe squadron battle initiated. yeah try that i think that's all you have to do is once it's out Game there starts in five seconds apparently okay can you spawn into my redeemer now oh yeah um, oh, am I in time? Yes, I'm in time. I'm... Hmm. Alright, I see you in the bottom turret. Yeah, that's me in the bottom turret. Uh, mine's being a little finicky. Not letting <laughs> you get in? It's stuck on a... a vehicle selection and I, I can't leave it. Um, maybe I can go to the main menu and come back and or, try to join. Or maybe could you spawn um, in on so your ship and then die and spawn back in on this one maybe? 
I can't deploy whatsoever. The main oh, is just I see. Yeah. Crap. So let me try. Yeah, let me try main menu, and maybe you can invite me back. I sure. I don't know if I can invite back into this game. Hmm. What happened for me was uh, the little icon for the redeemer popped up between the slots. That's where I could select the redeemer. Yeah, at present, I, I just have a screen that won't go away, and I can't interact with anything other than to go back to main menu. Well, to be honest, um, I want to try swarm mode again, actually. Let's back out, because I don't think we're going to fight anybody here. So That's a good idea. I'm going to start a new lobby anyways, or I'll just remove the lobby, and we'll go back to swarm. Perfect. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do a pirate swarm lobby and see if this works. Uh, that was not master modes. We were just doing a squad battle there. Master Modes is just in the free flight, I think, and maybe one of the, I think it's own version. Oh, cool. But we're doing multi-crew spawning here. Okay, so I'm going to deploy the ship. Now you should okay. be able to spawn into it. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Very cool. You're in? Yes, sir. All right. It's that easy now. That's pretty handy. And we don't have to take any missions. We could just start fighting. Just... Oh my god. <laughs> it saves so much time. Yeah, that's pretty great. Yeah, they're not spawning in. The turrets feel really good. I have not been in one of these in a while. There we go. Okay, Ready? so we had to start there the game. There we go. <laughs> it was waiting for us. The game starts in five seconds. So you can deploy ships and all get ready before even starting the match, which is pretty nice, too. Yeah, I can do a lot of testing with that. Now, currently... You can't get out of your seat, from what I understand. So this is just combat focused right now. Alright, looks like we are... Marking turret, or marking targets. around them too hard well I wonder does our ammo refill after we exhaust it does it yeah oh that's right and they only drop when you actually uh, there you go defeat them. as far as I know they only drop when uh, you defeat them Just one bit. There are multiple hostiles inbound. 
Man, you could just get multiple hammerheads with like 12 people in here to just practice turret gameplay. Alright. You guys got a hefty amount of targets here. Whoa! What the heck? We. What? Did we blow up? I was watching our shield. Was our shields down? I swear, I was. Our ship was fine. <laughs> I can see my eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First try with the Redeemer. I will pay more attention to the shields this time. You guys should be able to spawn back in on it. Uh, hey. my game did not like that. It Whoa. Frozen on me. Okay. I'll give it a second to recover. Ooh, Hammerhead, yeah, might take too much for Swarm, because you can only have four people in the lobby. Is anybody back in London? Okay, cool, somebody's here. Yeah, my my game hung up after that explosion. I'm gonna... Yeah, I've gotta crash and restart. Okay. Uh, mate, I can't get up to see. Yeah, you... You can't. No, you can. You can? Oh! What the? Yeah. Okay, are they like hitting me? Is that what's going on here? What the heck just happened? Yo, we just got smacked. I need to get us some space. So you're completely blacking out over there. Wow. Yeah, it like we got smacked by something and then got started twirling through space. But yeah, I can't. I mean, I can't outrun these guys, so they're just sticking on us. The pain of a multi-crew ship. We have guns, too. <laughs> but yeah, you can't get out of the seat. Okay, that's good. Holy crap, we're just freaking mowing through them. That's great. <laughs> wow. This thing's got guns. About face. Whoa. Right, right there. You're up top, right? I'm up top, yeah. Yeah, hmm. yeah I'm up top. Alright, we got somebody above us. Well, it looks like I cannot rejoin you. Hi. Let's Yikes. Cuddy's got some power to it.
that's unfortunate. Behind us. And now above us. Found him. You. Nice. No jump. No jump. Multi crew redeemer in arena commander, yeah, it's good times. Very smooth too. Like not really any problems other than uh, you're gonna have it some trouble getting back into the match. I do have some lag in the tournament at the ten of morning. Oh really? It's, yeah, it's not a lot though. It's, it's not not as severe as in you know online games. <laughs> Yeah, the only downside is that the rejoining doesn't seem very easy to do. Yeah, that's not good. So you're definitely going to want to join halfway through in this. Certainly. Oof. What a great test environment, though. Yeah, this is great. And I cannot, like, these guys just stay behind us. I can't get any shots because this ship's slow to turn. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're missing our, we're missing half coverage, unfortunately. I'm getting some background noise, I think, from one of you guys. I am good start. I... Hey, I, I'm I'm getting somebody else talking in the background of your mic. Can you push the talk? Jesus, ship feels. Did I lose a thruster? There we go, is that better? Zero hostile contacts remaining. Alright, I'm gonna switch to it, so I'm gonna be bottom to it. Okay. There are multiple hostiles inbound. This ship is hard to maneuver. Alright, we got quite a few guys coming up here. Coming in fast. And they are back behind us. Whoa! Alright, I can't aim behind us. The belly of the ship is in the way. You want me in the, in the back remote turret? Uh, I just flipped the ship for you. You should be able to see them now. I'm going to close the distance a little bit. And they should be coming up on us from uh, down below. Oops, sorry. We lost the weapon. I'm also out of ammunition over here. Yeah, I've run out of ballistics. Myself. I'm gonna take your uh, back remote there. Gotcha.
taking a lot of fire. They don't crash into space stations anymore, huh? Apparently not. Alright. I can only aim down, I can't aim up. So if you can try to keep them a bit below you... How's that? Trying to keep him below us. All right, found him. Seems like I'm having a weird bug. I can't target them at all. <laughs> that is not making this easier. Alright, you should have some close shots right now. Definitely, thanks. Ah, really want that cutlass dead. That's the nice. Uh, Buccaneer down. The, the cutlass is the one I can't target. Are, are there uh, no ammo drops? Not that I've seen yet. I haven't seen any either. No ammo drops. I hope they have something in place to make that work when you're doing big team fights. They're right in front of us. We're coming up on them. Cutlass should be in your sights. See you. Thank you. Sorry.
Um, 20 to 30 frames per second is pretty standard here for people with certain computers. I know people who are getting like 80 frames per second, so it depends on what you're running with. All right, I'm looping around. I'm gonna try and shorten the distance with them. They can't, they're not keeping up for some reason anymore. We're gonna go in close quarters here. Eyes on. Bringing it back up for you. Sticks around. Yo, thank you for the raid. Appreciate you, Lola Baba. <laughs> Did they crash? Lost Cuddy. I think Cuddy crashed. You got the Aurora right below us, though. I think he did. I think he did a great job there. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, we got an extra life. Oh, look at that. Nice. Surprise for ya! Damn it! 
Nice. <laughs> That's fun. Nah, I'm playing with Dutchman right now. I don't have any eyes on where are they? Yeah, I'm still moving to new targets here. Coming up on us right now. Eyes on Freelancer. See the freelancer? Freelancer down. Contact. Elite units on route. Freelancer's dead. Alright, move into new targets. Eyes on target in three, two, one, now. Lining up on our last target. Why is this ship flying like this? Coming up in your view now. See him? What are the things? Belly down or oh oh it's going down. Alright, there it is. Come on. Damn you stink. Oh Yeah, he's in front of us. There he is. 
Holy crap. Yeah, he's in front. Come target him. Lost him. Yeah, I'm shooting. Down. He down. Yeah, he got up in front of us. All right, Dutch. I think I'm actually gonna call it here. Ooh, because I think this is gonna keep going for a while. But thanks for joining me, in AC. Oh, I'm muted. Hello. <laughs> hey, man. Sorry. I was saying I'm gonna go ahead and call it here because I gotta get going. But thanks for joining me, dude. Thank you. Yeah. These are, uh, yeah, these are good. I'm gonna start doing these a lot more. We'll have to plan some events with this. But yeah, thanks for jumping in, Dutch. Yeah, thanks, mate. Thanks for letting me. Yeah. Catch you around, dude. Alright, catch you around. And, uh, as for all of you whippersnappers, I'll be seeing you all tomorrow, I believe. Uh, we should be live here again tomorrow or Thursday for some more Star Citizen. Hopefully, we'll have something to talk about, too. Thank you all. Ooh, excuse me. Double excuse me. Wow. Thank you all for joining me today. Hope you had some fun and got to learn about boxes. What's better than learning about boxes on a Tuesday? I'm going to send you on the way over to... Wait, hold on. Is there even anything going on on YouTube? Hey, I can't. Gosh. What is that? One of uh, Jack's pictures looks a lot like one of Mrs. Tomato's other pictures, which is funny because it's a very humorous picture. All right, y'all. Hope you had a good time learning about boxes and stuff. Oh, sevens, everybody. Thank you for the, uh, the last sub there, Dutch. Appreciate you. Major torque imbalance. What's up, Marcus? How you doing? Oh sevens, everybody, thanks for coming to today's stream. I hope you had a good time. I will send you all over to Down to Earth on YouTube. Drop in, say hi, give a little hug, you know, cause a little trouble, throw tomatoes in chat, make sure they know you're you're there. And they, you demand their respect. And y'all have a good day. Enjoy yourselves, have fun, go give someone a hug, have some good food. Live your life, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers, everybody. Bye.